All right, facial scare. <clears throat> All right, Bill, this past weekend, I went to Vegas to visit my brother and his buddy who currently reside there. They actually caught your most recent show in Vegas and had a phenomenal time. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Said I left last Thursday from Tampa and I soon I touched down in Vegas. I received an out of nowhere text from the girl that got away. I was shook. This broad used to live in Tampa about two and a half years ago, but she moved out to L.A. to pursue her career as an actress. The two of us attended the University of Tampa a few years ago and had an on-again, off-again relationship. Long story short, I was in a relationship with another girl. We went on break, and I met this girl and was hooked. So anyways, her text said, hey, who are you going to Vegas with? Because I'm going to be there this weekend, too. Uh, my guess is that she had seen my social media. She had been... My guess is that she had seen on my social media that I was going to be in Vegas. When I read the text, I was very surprised and pretty pumped because we hadn't talked in a long time. And like I said, she was the one that got away. She's absolutely gorgeous. And she also happens to be a really good person as well. Jesus Christ, people, what could go wrong here? We hooked up in Vegas and it was amazing to see her. We all went out, did our thing and had one of the best weekends I've had in my life. I'd give you more details, but you know, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. All right, you gave her the old meat hammer. Way to be subtle. Anyways, <clears throat> the reason why I'm writing to you, though, is because on the plane right back to Tampa, I was thinking about mine and this girl's relationship and all of our history. And a pretty comical slash genius story came to mind about her. I know this is getting long, but I hope it's not as long and boring as that guy writing to explain the fucking origins of Jimmy's a couple of weeks ago. Jesus Christ. Uh, but anyways, like I said, when I first met her, I was immediately attracted to her natural beauty, beauty and her personality. She is one of these ladies who didn't have to wear makeup or do anything special to look sexy. However, one of the first weekends we spent together, I wake up in, with her in bed one morning. I go to give her a kiss and I am, I am immediately troubled. The way the morning sun was shining into the window on her face exposed something I wasn't ready for that early in the morning. This broad has dark hair, and for the first time I noticed she had some dark hair above her lip. Eee. I was really surprised I didn't catch it before, but it wasn't a thick mustache or anything. It was just like the peach fuzz a 12-year-old boy has before he starts shaving regularly. Regardless, I was, taking, I was taken back, and from that morning... And from that point on that morning, it was all I could notice. Ah, Jesus. Isn't it crazy how visual guys are? That's it. Take the most beautiful woman in the world. You put a, give her a mustache. We, we can't, that's all we can see. It's like I'm kissing fucking Burt Reynolds here. All right. So when I went home, I had to devise a master plan. Operation Mustache Removal. I like this girl way too much, and she was still very hot with the... Ex even with the stash, but I needed a way to get rid of it because I wanted to help her out while also helping myself. All right, now this is why I picked this one here. Listen to this guy. He's got a gorgeous fucking woman. Everything about her is perfect, except she has a fucking mustache. Now, how the hell do you bring it up to somebody that you care about that they have a mustache and is fucking turning you off? There's no way to do that without sabotaging the relationship or or really hurting the other person. The only way to do that is if you just completely don't give a shit about the other person and just say, hey, you know, if there's any way you could, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't I know how to fucking say it. Well, this is what he did, and this was genius. He said, uh, since we just started seeing each other, I didn't want to come out and say, babe, babe, you shaved today? Seemed a little self-conscious that it is, so I didn't want to tell her and embarrassed or anything like that. I needed a way to remove this stash without being involved. Hence, I did what needed to be done. Listen to this fucking brilliant conspiracy. I called my trustworthy buddy who was playing hockey in Canada at the time and told him I needed him to do me a solid dude. I filled him in on the situation and he was willing to help me out. Since he had a weird random Canadian number at the time, I gave him my chick's number and told him to text her and simply say, you have a mustache. I ordered him to say nothing else and not to respond under any circumstances. He texted me back about 20 minutes later and said, mission complete. So this fucking lady, just to get you caught up in case you're confused here with my reading. 
she gets a random text from a Canadian number out of nowhere that just says you have a mustache. I can't imagine her fucking stomach must have dropped. It's when he goes, he, anyways, he goes, later that night, I met her at the bar and she was looking extraordinarily sexy. She seemed, she seemed to have a little pep in her step. I walked up to give her a kiss and I looked above her lip and the peach fuzz mustache was gone. Clean and soft as a baby's bottom. I was very happy how it played out. I helped myself out because that would have bothered me and I helped her become even sexier. Best part being, she had no idea that I orchestrated that mission. I didn't have to talk about it, bring it to her attention, and hurt her feelings or anything like that. I just had a broad with a clean upper lip. Thought I'd share. Go fuck yourself. Dude, that is absolute genius. And now I just got paranoid because I said what fucking school you went to and all that shit. I hope you don't get in trouble. But if you somehow your woman is listening to this, a guy does something like that, not because he's being a dick. It's because he cares for you. And... uh we don't know how to, uh, we, we, we don't have those skills. How, how do you tell somebody that? There's no way to do it. I think what he did was genius. Nobody got fucking hurt. You felt great about yourself. He cared about you enough, sweetheart, in case you're listening, that he came up with the plan that, you know, if he put it in another area, he could have like whacked JFK. So there you go. He came up with an enigma wrapped up in a riddle, however the fuck that goes. And uh, and you look even better. I would hope somebody would do that for me. All right. Girlfriend in Fantasy League. Hey, Bill, love the podcast. But, 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 thank you. I've been in a fantasy football league for 10 years. It was started by one of my best friends and has been the same 12 guys for a decade. I don't even know how bands have put... Uh, I don't even know bands that have been together that long. So this year, my buddy who started the league decided to boot out two lifelong members in favor of his girlfriend and the girlfriend of a friend of ours. Wait a minute. 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 Did those other two guys who got booted, did they do anything? I mean, if he was going to add the ladies, why did those other two guys have to leave? Wow. All right. Okay. Well, I'm sucked into this story. He said, I immediately called bullshit and said point blank to his face. If she wasn't sucking your dick, then she wouldn't be in the league. Oh, dude. That right there is a game changer. You can't say it. What if he marries this woman? Always, there's a rule for you guys. Always be careful what you say about the woman your guy is with because you never fucking know. You never know. And I'm sure there's some listeners that have stories. And if you'd like to contribute them to the podcast where, uh, you know, what's even fucking worse is when your buddy, he says fucked up shit about the girl, you know, about what a whore she is in bed and she's fucking his brains out, blah, 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 and tells you all these, these details. And then the jackass ends up falling for her and then he has to fucking break up with you because he's not going to break up with her because every time he looks at you he thinks oh you know he, he knows how this girl my, my future wife sucks my dick you know anyways plowing ahead he's trying to defend his decision by saying she at least knows a little about sports dude this is awful this guy wasn't raised right man this is just this is fucking terrible he said the fact of the matter is that she is from New York and knows who the Jets are. That's the extent of her football knowledge. He thinks I'm overreacting. You're not overreacting. He didn't ask anybody else. You've had 12 for the last 10 years. And he just removed two of the original band members. Dude, this isn't even funny. This is like, this is really upsetting to me. He thinks I'm overreacting. But I think of it the same scenario. If you, had, if you have one night a year... To have a guy's night with your buddies and then you get to the bar, you see that your friend has invited his girlfriend to guy's night. Exactly. He even told me that she she's the one who asked if she could join, which obviously to me means he had no intentions of inviting her. But when he was backed into the corner, his ball shot up into his throat and he couldn't say no. Exactly. It's not just a fantasy league, but a clear indication that she's going to slowly start chipping away at everything else in the rest of his life. Exactly. In summation, his girlfriend wanted in and he crumbled and said yes. 
Am I reading too much into this? Am I overreacting? I'd like to know because he's getting pissed at me for being pissed at him. Absolutely not, sir. Everything that I was going to tell you, you already know and you wrote in this email. Okay? You ran down the mats. You went off the little fucking springy board. You hit the fucking hobby horse. You did your little fucking Mary Lou Lenton flip and you stuck the landing. You get a perfect 10 on that one, sir. You are 100% right. You know what? You know what my move would be? I would start my own fantasy league. All right? And I would invite everybody else in that fucking league. Well, I wouldn't do that because now that's, that's a chick move. Make people decide. Now, this is why I, I wouldn't be as harsh with him and just be like, no, dude, what you did was absolute bullshit. And I guarantee you, I would tell him it. She's going to start chipping away with you, at, at your life. Your balls are up in your throat. Um, but that's going to end your friendship with him. But here's the deal, dude. There are other fantasy football leagues to join. All right? And uh, that that's one of those ugly things about that chapter of guys' lives after um, college. You know, when you went to grade school together or you met them in college, guys in college or whatever, but you guys have this unbelievable bond, like you went to fucking war together. Um if one of your friends is a pussy, you know, he has a, he has a chance of meeting somebody who's going to splinter the group, you know, and this isn't an anti-woman thing. This is more like an anti-pussy guy kind of thing where, uh, you know, there are controlling, suffocating people on both sides, men and women. And I know that there's women listening and they've, one of their best girlfriends started dating some fucking overbearing insecure douchebag guy and the first thing they do is they cut him off from their friends and then it's the, the co-workers then the friends and then their family and they stick him under a fucking little glass or something so uh yeah you know what dude the, the worst the sad thing is is you're, you're gonna lose a couple of friends sometimes that happens and uh you just have to be content about it and you know, and I think it's really important for men and women to have men only and women only social events that they can go to once a week or a couple times a month and just hang out with the fellas and hang out with the ladies and just whatever. I think it's really, really healthy. It gives you something to look forward to. It gives you a place where you can just vent about your anything you fucking want. In, in a group of people that 100% is going to understand and you don't have to worry about hurting anybody's feelings or offending on anybody. I think it's tr it's really, really fucking healthy. And this guy's fucking with that. And uh, and he didn't put it to a vote. What, what is he, the grand poobah of this shit? 